in the previous video, we figured out a few things. So if the means among A's different levels and if the means among B's different levels are equal, then we said that SS total over sigma squared is chi squared distributed with AB minus one degrees of freedom. SSA over sigma squared is also chi squared distributed with A minus one degrees of freedom. Um, similar story for um, SSB over sigma squared. And then SSE over sigma squared is chi squared distributed with A minus one times B minus one degrees of freedom. And finally, SSA over sigma squared, SSB over sigma squared, and SSE over sigma squared are all independent random variables. All right, so now we can work with these facts, work with these findings to derive our test statistics to test whether the means among A's different levels are truly equal. All right, so say we want to do just that. So let's work first with the null hypothesis for A, and then we can do the exact same thing for the null hypothesis for B. So we want to test whether the means among A's different levels are equal. So remember from one way to know what we did is we compared the variability between groups the variability within groups. So that's exactly what we're going to do here again. So we're going to test, set up the test stat the exact same way. So we have um, the variability between groups up in the numerator and the variability um, within groups in the denominator. So this is the test stat for testing whether A's different means are equal. All right, so if the null hypothesis actually were true, then this should be pretty small or maybe about one. But if the means are actually different, then we're going to see SSE, sorry, SSA is going to be bigger than expected. So we're going to compare this test statistic against its sampling distribution. So what's its sampling distribution? Well, we know that SSA over sigma squared is chi squared distributed with A minus one degrees of freedom. We know SSE over sigma squared is chi squared distributed with A minus one times B minus one degrees of freedom. Therefore, this divided by this is going to have an F distribution. So we're going to compare this test statistic against an F distribution. DF1 is going to be A minus one. DF2 is A minus one times B minus one. All right, so when our test statistic is large compared to this distribution, then we're going to reject the null hypothesis that the means amongst A's different levels are equal. So here's our little picture. We have our F distribution with a minus one and A minus one times B minus one degrees of freedom. We've marked off our test stat and we've shaded the area to the right because the, that represents larger, more extreme test statistics. So that area to the right, that's our p-value. So our p-value is the probability that this F distribution is greater than our test statistic. All right, one more thing. We probably want to have a good unbiased estimator for sigma squared. And so we can do just that. So if the null hypothesis for A were true, we could do something with SSA. And if the null hypothesis for B were true, we could do something with SSB to figure out a good estimator for sigma squared. But we can't rely on those being true, right? We can't rely on the means amongst A's different groups being true. We can't rely on the means amongst B's different groups being true. So what we're going to rely on is SSE over sigma squared having a chi-squared distribution with a minus one times B minus one degrees of freedom. Because whether the null for A and the null for B, whether those are true or false, it doesn't matter. This finding, number five here, that's still gonna be true. So SSE over sigma squared has a chi-squared distribution with A minus one times B minus one degrees of freedom. Therefore, a good unbiased estimator for sigma squared is gonna be SSE divided by A minus one times B minus one.